Hey, this is Shelly Hitz from trainingauthors.com. And in this video, I want to show you a tool called ifttt.com. Ifttt is basically a tool that you can use as an author to help you be more productive. Let me just share with you a little bit about what it is first, because I have to admit, when I first was introduced to it, I was confused, I looked at it, and then I just clicked away because I didn't understand how to use it. So basically, it is a service that allows you to create powerful connections with one simple statement, if this, then that. This is the trigger, and that is the action. So this can be very powerful for you as an author. I'm gonna show you several recipes that I think that you would really be benefit from. And it's pronounced gift without the G. So ift is how you pronounce this. And you can you know, use basic channels like Facebook, Evernote, email, and so forth. And the trigger is the part of the recipe that it starts with. So if you're tagged in a photo on Facebook, then it's going to save in Dropbox. So the second part of the recipe is the action, like it will be saved in Dropbox. I'm going to show you a few things here in a minute. And you can kind of, you know, you can turn them on and off. You can have them triggered in different ways. And you can create your own recipes too. But so far, what I have done is just use recipes other people have already created. There are several ways that you can find recipes. First of all, you can browse. And if you just click browse, then it will come to this area. And you can just type something in the search bar. So if you are really interested in recipes for Twitter, you can just type in Twitter and it will show you a bunch of different recipes. Right now there's 28,000 plus recipes. So you can see all the different recipes that have been created for Twitter, and it gives you the most popular ones first. So 15,780 people have added, and they're using this particular recipe. So these are really popular ones. Another way to browse and find new recipes is just to come to the main browse um, section, and then you can look into the collections. They have different collections for different things. And then you can also, you know, come down here and look at all time favorite. So this is an interesting thing. I kind of scrolled through all, you know, the first few pages of the all time favorites. A lot of them are more pers for personal use versus business use, but you may find some interesting ones there. And in the collections, you can find different collections. Some are for business, like recipes to streamline your social media. This would be something that you could look and see if there are different ways that you can help streamline your social media. They also had one recipes for small business owners, which you can check out and look that way. So there's a ton of different things, ton of different ways that you can find these recipes. You can also just Google IFTTT recipes for productivity and you'll find a ton of options. Let me show you a few of the recipes that I really like. One of my favorite recipes that I like is this one. All of your tweets are saved in a Google spreadsheet. What you do is you connect your Twitter account to your Google Drive account and you can get a free Google Drive account when you sign up for a Gmail email address. However, what this does, if you have heard me teach about Twitter before, I love being able to create a document of evergreen tweets that I can reuse at different times. Now, social media is social, social, so you don't want to overdo and repeat tweets too often, but sometimes there are just some really valuable tips and quotes and things that maybe you could share on a yearly basis or twice a year and your your followers are not going to really know that you've already posted that quote before and this is an easy way to gather your tweets so you gather everything you have tweeted about into that spreadsheet and then you can sort and you can save the ones that would be evergreen i love that idea another one of my favorites i have several that i have on here but is this one it is note to self. And so what you do is you basically connect your phone, your cell phone, and your Gmail account. So I love this recipe because it's a really great way to be productive on the go. One of the things that I love is that you can, um, you know, you'll get a transcript. So what you can do is you can write out a an outline of a blog post and then you can speak it into your phone. Maybe you're waiting in a line 
at the fast food restaurant or you're waiting for your child at school and you have some downtime in your car with your phone. You can just take your phone and you can save that message. Not only is it an MP3, but it's also a transcript. This is also a great way to create products. So you can create bonuses to your books. You can you know, have the MP3 that's recorded and the transcript that then you edit and you can use later. So there are so many ways that you can use this particular recipe. You know, there are tons of other ones and I've put some links for you below that you can check out for yourself, but I hope you check it out. Ift is a great way to automate certain things in your book marketing and to help you to be more productive. This is Shelly Hitz from trainingauthors.com showing you the tool iftt.com to help you be more productive in your digital publishing.